Jake thinks the three quid. Can you tell the story of the guy who did a shit at the back of the bus you were on? I was getting, I think it was the 11. It was a new kind of stagecoach bus that had sort of started. They would go for Kenny Said, past Karen Bodrick. Then it would go on the motorway, up near the savings bank, where the fuck it was, on the motorway, up at town. One night, when I think, I think maybe I was in my 20s, when I was about maybe college time, or maybe mid-20s when I was working. Got the bus back one night. There was two younger guys up behind us, like kind of teenage maybe 18 or something, or maybe just a wee bit older. And I was a few seats down for the the back. Other than that, was there maybe one person, it was a kind of single decker, one down there and maybe one other person. But basically, it was they, that two up the back, I was like about four seats for the back or something like that. Quite a long bus. And it was maybe one other person, that was it, at night. And one of them said to the other, Something like, you know, because I could fucking hear them. Something like, I'm fucking busting for a shit. And fuck, I'm just going to date here. And his pal started laughing as if fucking hell, as if he really was doing it. And then he's, I just heard his pal laughing. And then <laughs> the guy who was apparently doing a shite, uh, uh, just, uh, just up there. Went like that. It's only a wee one, but it's a thought that counts. And then I and and I think he said something about wiping his ass on the seat because it's cloth seats. It wasn't like that kind of fake leather cloth fabric. And I thought he's not fucking serious. Then I shite there, is he? And then I started to smell shite. You <laughs> shot up the back of the fucking bus. It's only, <laughs> it's only a wee one, but it's the thought that counts. That's what he said. And wiped his ass on the seat. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Fucking horrible. <laughs>